kiss for you. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome to my another video series on Android app development. And so, guys, in this video series, I will teach you how to create a call contacts app using Android Studio. Okay, so I will be using the Java programming language. And so, in this app, what we will do is first of all, I will try to teach you how to display the contacts in your Android activity inside the recycler view and after that i will also be doing the on click of those numbers and the user will be able to send messages messages or calls to that specific number all right so first of all let me show you the demo so here i already have developed the app and let me show you okay so here is the app and here now you are able to see these all the numbers and if i click on okay so here let's say i want to click uh, i want to call a number so if i dial this and now you can see that it is asking asking me for the sim and if i select this and yes now you are able to see that all right so that is it so if i want to send messages to that number so i can just click here and here from there i can write the message and send it all right guys so let's get started see it so first of all we need to implement uh, or add the recycler view and card view so first of all i will write card view and then i will be having the recycler view for the okay and i click on okay and after that what we will be doing is we are now going to use the recycler view here and we set it to match parent and let's set the id to recycler view all right so after that let's first of all uh, add the user permission so here we will add the permission user call phone and then we need to also have the permission of read contacts then now inside our main activity first of all we need to initialize the recycler view all right so now here we need all uh, we need to set up the layout manager so i can say okay so first of all we can say set has fixed size and we make it true then we can say recycler view dot dot set layout manager and inside that i can pass the new linear layout manager and this and after that okay so here we are going to create a method which will load the phone contacts and now what i will do is i will create the method and inside this method first of all we need the cursor object okay so here we can say cursor let's import the class and here we can say get content dissolver dot query and inside that i can say contract contacts contract dot content contacts dot content uri then we can say null and null the d3 will be null then we can say contacts contract dot common okay so i 
make it here so we can say dot common data kinds and we can say dot phone and dot number okay so now we have got the cursor object here and now we can okay so here I did a mistake so first of all we need to create a new model class so here I can create a new package and I name the package as model class and inside that model class I am going to have create a new class and I name it as my contacts and inside that I can have string name and number and we can create the constructor and here we can say string name string number and inside there we can say this dot name equal to name and this dot number equal to number and we can also generate the getter okay so after that here we what we can do is we need to return this as change the array uh, the type of the method to array list of type my contacts okay so here we what we can do here we can now create a new array list of type my contacts array list equal to new array list and then we can check now if cursor dot get count is greater is greater than zero it means that we have the data and now here we can say while cursor dot move to next and here we I can say string ID so we can first of all fetch the ID so if we can say cursor dot get string and here we can say cursor dot get column index and here we can pass the contacts contract dot contacts dot id okay then similarly we can say string name equal to cursor dot get string and we can simply say cursor dot get column index and here we can say contacts contract dot contacts dot display name and then we can say string number equal to cursor dot get string cursor dot get column index contacts contract dot contents contact dot has phone number okay so now I we can have uh, we have got the number so here we can check if number dot length is greater than zero then what we can do is we can say cursor my cursor equal to get content resolver dot query and here we can say contacts contract dot common data kinds dot phone dot content URI and then we can okay so here we need to pass some other parameters to that so here we can pass null and then we can say contacts contract dot common data kinds 
dot phone dot contact id then we can say plus and then we can say new string array and here we can pass the id and finally we can pass null okay so now we have got the phone cursor let me change the name to phone cursor and now i can again check if phone cursor dot length or we can say dot get count is greater than zero then we can say while cursor phone phone cursor dot move to next and now we can get the string phone number value equal to cur phone cursor dot get string and here we can pass the cursor phone dot get column index and here we can pass the contacts contract dot common data kinds dot phone dot number okay and then we can add it so we can say my contacts my contacts equal to new my contacts and here i can pass the name and the phone number value and finally we can add it so we can say array list dot add and we can add the my contacts okay so after we add it so here we it, this is the while loop and now here it will be the if and here we can close it so we can say phone cursor dot close and after this while loop we can print the message uh, but here if it is uh, else part so we can say toast no contacts found all right so so guys i think the video is a bit longer so i will uh, pause it and i will continue from the second part of the video okay guys so if you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye